right behind me. This is it, the front line. Uh, this is a full-on revolution. As you see, the fire, the shots, gas uh, grenades. The situation is extremely, extremely dangerous. It was pretty intense. As soon as I got there to pretty much the front line, um, I was pleasantly uh, surprised with, uh, I guess it was a, a tear gas grenade that blew up right in front of us, and uh, it was very scary. It was very intense. The people just got frustrated, and uh, they, they just wanted to finally stand up and uh, see if they could um, stand up for the rights and overturn the government, you know? Just, the president absolutely crossed every possible line him and his crew, his gang, shall I say, and uh, people just couldn't take it anymore. And the response they were getting, I mean, we saw a little bit of it there, didn't we? Pretty violent. It got very violent, yeah. I mean, I just couldn't believe what I saw with my eyes. This is what's happening. This is the front line, guys. This is the most dangerous situation. You can hear the shots fired. So that sounds like uh, people drumming sort of thing that often happens. Yes, people were drumming and uh, it was, um, you know, you could see the ties uh, were burning and uh, it was very intense because it also was very difficult to breathe. You needed proper face, uh, face mask, or I would even say gas mask, to uh, deal with uh, conditions. And besides all that, it was also freezing. It was, I would say, minus 15 to 20. and. Uh, brutal, you know, for people the, to... These fires we see burning, uh, yeah. set off by the demonstrators, presumably, as a, yes. a mark of protest and as a way, as you say, proper keeping warm a bit as well, right. I suppose. And also they had snipers on the other side, so, you know, it kind of, uh, with the smoke, you can, uh, I guess, uh, the snipers can get the clear shot. Do, you know? Were you aware of sniping going on? Uh, not initially, but then uh, when I got home and I saw on a television that people got shot, I actually got scared because uh, I didn't know there were sniper shooting at that time. So you decided to come home or come back to the UK anyway? I, w I went back again to the barricades. It was, um, you know, it was also pretty intense. And uh, but uh, finally, uh, from what I heard, they. Um, coming to some sort of agreement, which I, like I said, I don't really like to get into politics, but, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back to UK and I'm safe and um, I'm happy to be here.